Those of you who remember doing trigonometry in school can forget it because ancient Babylonians may have had a better way of doing it. And now, thanks to a new discovery, it could change how we calculate today. En 2017, une information concernant une tablette sumérienne vieille de 3600 ans défrait la chronique. L'idée que cette tablette était une table de calcul complexe était largement acceptée depuis sa découverte il y a près d'un siècle. Les professeurs Norman Wildberger et Daniel Mansfield de l'Université de New South Wales à Sydney découvrent alors l'intérêt de cette pensée mathématique à notre époque. Selon le docteur Daniel Mansfield, la tablette décrit les formes des triangles à angle droit en utilisant un nouveau type de trigonométrie basé sur des ratios et non des angles et des cercles. Une table de trigonométrie datant de 1000 ans avant ce qu'on pensait être les premiers exemples en Grèce. Les deux chercheurs réalisent alors des vidéos pour expliquer que cette table de calcul donne des résultats exacts alors que celles utilisées de nos jours sont des approximations. À l'autre bout de la planète, j'ai appris les conclusions de leurs travaux au même moment que le reste du monde. Très touché par leur découverte qui confirmait mon travail depuis plusieurs décennies autour des mégalithes, je prenais contact avec eux. Suite à nos échanges, Norman Wildberger décide de venir me rencontrer à Karnak quelques mois plus tard. Ce qui suit est le résultat de cette rencontre. And I'm here in uh, Brittany with uh, Howard Crowhurst, who is a an expert on a remarkable megalithic uh, well, sequence of sites, uh, which uh, we're going to have a look at today. So Howard's going to uh, give us some analysis and uh, explanation. So thanks very much, uh, Howard, and, uh, in advance for. Uh, Showing me around. Well, I'm very pleased to be with you and to share this. You know, right. it's been my life's work. I've been living here for 35 years, and I've spent most of my time studying this place. Fabulous. <laughs> right. Hello, everyone. I'm Norman Wahlberger. And this is just a very short introduction to two important videos, very important videos that have Howard Crowhurst uh, talk about some really important mathematical discoveries of a historical nature that he made. And I just want to just introduce them. So Howard Crowhurst is the uh, Englishman who's living in France and Brittany around uh, Karnak, which is a very famous place with all these famous alignments of uh, thousands of uh, megalithic stones. But Howard has discovered, in addition to all of these uh, remarkable things, two spectacular configurations. And um, we might call them the life triangles, and they're at a place called Manio, uh, where there's a giant uh, Manier or uh, megalith called the Manio Giant. And Howard has been uh, very intensively studying these things. He's made uh, theodolite um, measurements, and he's isolated these two remarkable triangles. So they're both three, four, five triangles, and as far as we know, they are the first examples of three, four, five triangles in, in history. This is a very momentous uh, kind of thing. And it, we're talking about four or five thousand BC, so maybe six or seven thousand years ago. And the two triangles, we could call them the conception triangle, and the fertility triangle, and you'll see that uh, these names are, are very uh, apt ones. It's really quite remarkable that astronomy and mathematics and biology come together in these uh, ancient configurations that Howard has uh, discovered. So this is very exciting stuff. Uh, it's not well known. It really deserves uh, major international recognition. And uh, so it's a, it's a pleasure for me to be able to uh, have Howard talk to us directly and show us directly uh, these remarkable things that he's discovered.